Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations, and so much more. Today I'm in Bradenton, Florida at Gerzini's RV World with Zach, and we're going to take you on a tour of the 2023 Cortez Camper Travel Trailer. Here is an overview of the layout. And here are the specifications. It has a fresh water capacity of 21 gallons, 13 gallons for the gray water, and 16 gallons for the black water. It also has a 190 watt solar package. Hi, Zach. Hi, I'm Zach. I work at the Grozenis down here in Bradenton, and we're going to introduce this awesome fiberglass Cortez. Great. So we're going to start off by saying it weighs just under 2,700 pounds. It can be towed by pretty much any vehicle you can think of. Nice. And we'll start off right now with the construction. So first okay. thing I'm going to mention is the tim Timbrine Axilis system. So toes like a dream. If you ever hit a bump down the road, you don't have it bumping and shifting. It will just absorb the shock on one side and you'll keep going down the Great. road. Great, nice and smooth. Very smooth. So we're going to also, we got double pane acrylic windows. Helps hold in the heat and hold in the air because this is a actually a Four Seasons camper. Okay, great. Nice big window too. We come around to the back here. We have your standard <clears throat> sewer pipe that can be held to the bumper as well as you have a two inch receiver to put a bike rack uh, above the spare tire, which standard Goodyear endurance tires okay. on both of them and the spare. If you come around to this side, We'll, go, we'll start to go over the construction of this. Okay. So this is a zero wood, all fiberglass unit. It's a double hull construction, so in easier terms, you stick one bathtub in another, and then you stick the two tubs together, which are chemically bonded at this seam. Okay. And this is the only seam in the entire camper, so it's virtually leak proof. Wonderful. Um, for all you pet owners out there, I'm sure you've had one blow through a screen or two. This has a reinforced aluminum cage so that pets cannot escape or rip up your screen. Looks pretty strong. Yep. And then we'll come around to the front here. Okay. It comes standard with two batteries, two 20 pound propane tanks and all electric jacks. So with this being a 17 foot trailer, you only have back stabilizer jacks and the front tongue jack, which all can be controlled from this control panel right here. How convenient. Thanks for all that information, Zach. Now let's take a detailed look at the exterior of this Cortez camper. There's a latch for the door, grab handle on the side of the door, exterior lights, big opening window, two 110 outlets below. Moving to the rear, there's the stabilizers. Sewer hose storage, spare tire, hitch for the bikes that you bring along, and take a look at the clearance. Big opening window right here in the rear. Moving on to the other side, opening window, fresh water connection below, city water connection below that. 30 amp connection and the sewer connection is right there. Moving to the front, you have your battery compartments, storage for your propane tanks and the electronic stabilizing system. All right, let's check out the interior. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, so let's start right here at the entrance. So upon entry, there's some storage. There's the top one, nice and big and deep and I'll open up the lower one and take a look. All right, so let's check out the bathroom. It's right behind me. Take a look.
Okay, so I'm going to step in and show you around. Now I'm 5'4", so you get a feel of the height that you have in here. And you know what? It's a pretty big bathroom, lots of space in here. Now it is a wet bath, but it does have a separate shower area. So let's start with this shower head. It has adjustments on it, an off switch for the water, little soap dish below, covered toilet paper holder right here. There's a shower curtain that you just pull right across on this rod. Now to the right of me, there's the big toilet and it is porcelain. Little sink on the side here. And you do have some countertop space on the side of that sink. And right here you have some storage to put your products in and a little area for your soap. Right over here, there's a light. All right, now let's check out the kitchen. So take a look. We're gonna start with the microwave. Now it's not convection, but it is a really good size. Down below we have the freezer. So let's check that out. Nice and deep. There's a shelf in there and a bin on the door. And below that is the refrigerator. It's a really good size. So there are two shelves in there, a large bin below and two adjustable bins on the door. Now, all the appliances in this camper are Furion appliances. This refrigerator is eight cubic feet. So let's take a look at the cooktop. So it's a three burner gas cooktop with a glass lid. Down below, there's an oven. Little hood vent above. Let's take a look at the sink. So the sink does have this nice cover, nice and light, that you can remove and check out the sink, nice and deep. And it comes with this insert that can serve as a colander. When you need extra counter space, just put that top back on. Now it does have a nice tall curved faucet that pivots. Down below, there's some storage there's some drawers. So take a look at the first one. Latches very nicely. Same size for the middle one and a little smaller on top. Now right on the side of the microwave, there's some controls. So this is the controller for your tank heaters for your fresh, gray, and waste. Down below, there's the climate controls. So this one here is the controller for your air conditioner and this one is for your heat. Right here is the controller for your tankless water heater and this is the systems monitor for your fresh holding and gray tanks as well as your battery and the water pump switch. Now located right across there's a 12 volt, two USBs and some light switches. Now they're conveniently located right above this little table seating area. Good sized table, seating for one. You can use it to have a snack or work. Plug in your devices up there. Right above, there's some storage. Now there is a lot of storage throughout. Check that out. Now this is a U-shaped storage area, so it just goes right on through latches nicely feels like marine grade take a look at this one the one in the rear right above this one there's a Bluetooth stereo and some speakers on each side there's a TV over there that you can swivel out some more storage. And yet again, another compartment. Shuts nicely. Again, they're marine grade, so they are watertight. Take a look at that. Okay, now there's also storage underneath these cushions, so let me show you. All right, so I've removed the cushions so I can give you a good view of all the storage. So we're gonna start with the storage 
over there. So I just want to point out first that the table does move front and back and side to side. There's a little lever right under here that allows you to do that. So I'm going to move it more towards my right so I can show you the storage here on the left. And take a look. Okay, now I'm going to move the table over to my left and show you the storage on the right. All right, and now I'm going to show you the storage in the rear. So I'm going to move the table forward and take a look at the storage back here. Now this whole storage area is really one big area so it's all connected. So I've put the cushions back in their place and I'm just sitting here enjoying this dining area. Take a look at how large this table is. Now as I'm sitting here I'm enjoying the breezes coming on through and I want to point out all the windows in this camper. There's one on each side and one in the rear. They're all nice and large. They open up awning style and they have a shade that you can pull down for privacy and a bug screen that you can pull up to keep those bugs out. Now you can also use this dining area as a workstation. There are two 110 outlets located right below. Now this dining area can also transform into a bed. Let me show you. Now to transform the dining area into a bed, you just push down on the table and then you take the backrest cushions and fill in the center. All right, take a look. Okay, so let's check it out. Looks nice and cozy. I'm gonna grab a little cushion over here. This is comfy. Ooh. So this is how much room you have here. Plenty of room for two people. You can watch TV while laying down, open up the windows, get some breezes in. And then when you want it back into a dining area, you just remove the cushions put them back into their respective spots as a backrest and then you lift up on the table. Right here in the center of the camper there's this very low profile AC unit and directly in front there's a power air vent. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of the 2023 Cortez Camper Travel Trailer. Now this camper has a lot to offer. There's lots of storage throughout both on the top and below even when you enter. Now I loved the kitchen area. Lots of storage for your food. Freezer, refrigerator are both quite large. The microwave is a good size and you get that nice oven. The bathroom is a really good size with a separated shower area. You have a big toilet, a little sink in there. And the best feature of all is that this camper is washable. There are drains located right there on the end and you can just simply grab a hose, rinse it all out. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.